and gentlemen, dignitaries, invited guests, to all to the graduation ceremony of Karawali Group of Colleges. A graduation day is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of our educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of students' quest for a better life and future. Before we move on, I would like to call upon Mrs. Bhavishya to lead us in prayer. which made an impressive entry into the field of professional education in the year 1996 by introducing the first university affiliated design course in India. Since then, it has registered trailblazing track record of success. With the continuous success rate in almost all its courses and with placement for students after completion of the courses, the college today attracts students from all over India and from foreign countries. College has registered continuous superlative performance by successively bagging maximum number of university ranks. Karawali group of colleges have five independent campuses at Kotara Chowki, Wamanjur, Nirmarga and Bangalore with more than 30 courses. I now request Ms. Hritika to welcome the gathering. To stand before an auspicious gathering, to welcome you all on behalf of Karawali Group of Colleges on this occasion. It gives me an immense pleasure to welcome our Honorable Chairman, Shri S. Ganesh Rao Sir, on this memorable moment. Now I request Mr. Hemant to garland our Honorable Chairman. We welcome Sir Ganesh Rao Sir, to welcome Shri Kishore Alva. Chief Guest of Big Function on this memorable moment. The Alex, who garnered our Chief Guest, Sri Kishore Arva, as a token of love and respect. We welcome you, sir. Tata Ji Rao Ma'am, Director of Karawali Group of Colleges, Mangal. Ma'am has always been a support for this Karawali family with her ever smiling face and has motivated us in every day
introduction about the chief guest. His career journey showcases his significant expertise and contributions in diverse roles and high impact projects. Throughout his career, Mr. Alva has held senior advisory roles with renowned organizations, including the United States India Business Council in Washington, D.C., where his dedication to fostering business relationships received notable appreciation. He also served as senior advisor for planning and business development with Unocall 76, now chair on, and offered his valuable guidance at China Life and Power International and Cogentrix Energy. From 2007 to 2015, Mr. Alva served Lanco Group in various leadership capacities, culminating as executive director. In 2015, he joined Adani Group, where he currently leads as executive director and president, overseeing landmark projects including the Adani Power Plant, Mangalore International Airport, Udupi City Gas Distribution, and Renewable Energy initiatives across Karnataka. His leadership has also been instrumental in projects like Adani Cement, ACC and Embuja and the Logistics Park. Mr. Alva's remarkable leadership extends to his role as President of the Bangalore Chamber of Industries and Commerce in 2018-19. Under his guidance, BCIC organized a record 150 events and expanded membership to over 850 companies fostering startup growth in collaboration with the Department of Commerce and Industries, Karnataka. He continues to contribute as a permanent member of BCIC, Management Committee, and as Chairman of the Energy, Water Resources, and Renewable Energy Committee. His contribution to Karnataka's industrial landscape have been recognized with several prestigious awards, including the Parimala Prashasti, Trijala Sangama Prashasti, and the Mahatma Gandhi International Sadbhavana Award, presented by the Honorable Governor of Karnataka. He also serves as a member of the Board of Studies in English for St. Aloysius College and the Internal Quality Assurance Cell at Mangalore University. Mr. Alva's leadership journey began early in his academic days at National Public School, Bangalore, and later as President of the Student Council at St. Aloysius College and Mangalore University. His impact as president of all college students' council further highlights his lifelong commitment to leadership. I now request the chief guest of today's function, Shri Kishor Alwa, sir, to address the gathering. It's an honor for me to be here on this auspicious graduation day of this esteemed educational institution. Every one of us should be proud to see that Karavali group of colleges has diversified disciplines under its umbrella. This institute has distinguished itself as a pertinent and a prominent institution of technological study. It is a hard work and devotion to quality dedication by the members and the vision of the management which is responsible for this notable achievement. It gives me pleasure to acknowledge the dynamic leadership of the management of Karavali group of colleges under the labor leadership of Sri Ganesh Rao, the graduation ceremony is the most significant of the meaningful occasions in the university's calendar of all the graduates. In fact, this place where uh, Nirmarga till Benjan Patao, in fact, uh, during my childhood days, my school days, I used to visit from Bangalore, where my grandfather stayed over here. It was a very remote village. People even feared to come to this place. I think we had uh, only two buses called Raja Lakshmi and there's some, some other bus which is from Padu. And uh, in fact, uh, we were Zamindas there and you know, land was sold. But today, when I remember when I was the president of the All College Students Union, president of the PG Students Union at the Mangalore University campus, Ganesh Rao might not, because just now when I talked to him, he has been a very different person. Uh, Dani, you can say, he's a dharmist, I can say in one word, in, in a single word. During those days, I went to Karavali College. He used to be very magnanimous, in fact. And I, I remember myself, I've gone, 
have to, I have got uh, several sponsors for him, for, 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 from him. So that was his gracious uh, presence those days, well respected, and most of all, a very disciplined uh, educationist, I can say. In fact, his wife has been his backbone to develop all these institutions. And uh, I remember we were very notorious those days. He must be knowing, you know, how the all college uh, student days used to function. In fact, we closed the DC chamber. Many things have happened in the past. This is a land of uh, 1,800 institutions. Land of so many engineering colleges, medical colleges. Land of about 3,000 temples. It's called the Prashnama Sishti. But uh, what is unique is, you have, you know, certain education institutions like NIT Education Trust, maybe Dr. Alvas, maybe Manipal. But uh, the way, today what I'm witnessing is seeing is believing. The way Ganesh Rao has done this campus, maybe it is like a forest and maybe, you know, the greenery so much and the way he has brought, this, uh, brought up this institution, it is marvelous. God bless him. Because today to do an educational institution, especially a medical college, a dental college, a engineering college is a tough, uh, is a, is a tough task. Because every nook and corner you have colleges. And uh, the world is so competitive. But uh, he's always been an adventurous man. He has developed this institution into great heights, maybe in Womanjur, maybe here, or maybe in Mangalore, in the city headquarters. It uh, speaks volumes. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. You are blessed to study in a college like this. One thing is, well, I prepared a speech and come, but I thought more than a prepared speech, the adventures of a student or uh, being, a, being a son or a daughter of parents. In today's world, things are very different. There was a Gurukala system at one, once upon a time, and uh, that was governed in India. And the same thing, it continued. Maybe two decades or three decades back from I started and uh, Mr. Ganesh Rao started, things were a little different. Now things are a little different. In fact, about one and a half decade, I was uh, working for Cogentrix and I was in the USIBC as uh, chief advisor at New Delhi. In my college days, I was uh, happy being a dog lover. I had dogs at home. So one fine day, one of my pet dogs bit me and I was, uh, I, I didn't take the full doses of injections. And maybe in six months, when my father passed away, I suffered from a paralytic, paralytic attack. I lost both of my legs, both of my hands and one side of my face. And the doctors could not diagnose what it is. Maybe I was late to go to the hospital. But later on, it was diagnosed as Guillain-Barre syndrome called as the GPS. In other words, the French polio. And uh, I was close to Dr. Alva, being my relative. 50 days I was in the hospital in the ICU. And then on, I was rehabilitated to the Alva's College. I was in the hospital. So one thing what I learned was that uh, however strong you are, whatever powerful you are, you have to respect your teachers. You have to respect your parents and then God. So that is the time I realized because I was athlete, I was a hammer thrower, I was a weightlifter, I was represent the university. So I could not lift even a pin. I learned everything from scratch to have my bath, to have my tickets, day to day tickets. This is the time I learned how important a parent is, how important that we have to respect our teachers. That's you realize, you know, because uh, when you are strong, when, uh, when you can conquer the world, you can do anything. But when you're in a hospital, when you're helpless, you'll know what life is, what every organ of the body that the God has developed, or what you have you know, got it from nature, you, you will you know, remember every single work of God. So that is the time I realized many things in life. And I went on from lifting from a pin to lifting about 650 kgs of weights. Well, it was not to showcase to anybody, but when I had to come out of hospital after two years, I wanted to be strong and I wanted uh, so that nobody questions me. So that is one thing, it is not uh, show, to show your valor or strength, 
but god willing blessings of the parents i came out successful for my medical condition joined the company went on to some heights and then i went on to head on adani and adani adani came over taking the upcl plant in udupi which we cater for about 1200 megawatts supplying electricity needs for the whole of karnataka recently we took over the airport we have taken you know gas pipelines we have taken renewable energies in 24 taluks in karnataka likewise in the country even mr adani has begun his humble beginnings of science and drop out he is now number 1 in the country number 2 in the world even though he was pushed two years back before because of the hindaba issue he went down to the 50th position but again he has come back the one thing that i have seen in most of the business people like ganesh rao or maybe mr gautam adani they have been very simple they have been very humble they have always been to their roots when uh, ganesh rao ji was telling it is really difficult you know the you are talking of the landscape i will tell one thing that is really blessed to have this landscape in benjen patao well i could not maintain my grandfather's property but when i when, when i when i came to this place today it is changed differently you know today the rates might be soaring today even if he has to buy a land it is going to cost him a hell lot but the improvement that our district has seen or the villages has seen is enormous you see uh, students from kerala from gujarat you see from every walk of life students you know from different uh, parts of the world they come into such institutions like karavali or you know alwas or nitte or manipal we feel we really feel very proud one thing without making a long speech i will always tell you one thing respect your teachers don't forget the institution that has nurtured you and uh, and believe in god and success is yours you mark my words whatever you are thanks god bless jai hind we hand over the moment to us to our chief guest as a token of love and appreciation association we appreciate your participation and we appreciate your company graduation day is supposed to be a very government is changing we are also liberalizing the changing trends of the youngsters because nowadays you on the hot sun also you don't like but actually it is good for health you don't know anyway see why why i am informing you this why we invited adani executive director and president today as a guest i might have invited some minister some politicians say it's a routine speech the motivation should come from inside person like you a person who was all college students union president the person for the pg all college students union president not only a successful student a successful industrialist successful businessman india you know only three four groups are known ambani adani tata birla see anyone can be proud for reaching that level why i am mentioning not only to appreciate it is not the appreciation it is the fact there is a difference between appreciation and fact sometimes we hesitate to talk facts thinking that we are appreciating sometimes we appreciate without knowing the facts but fact is always naked fact is always sweet why i am mentioning this today students you are all engineers the my first sentence i enjoyed your company you also enjoyed four years in the college it's not only academics academics every college you join you pay little more fees you will get seat you will get graduation certificate but this style and the operational 
you know, manner in which you were developed. Whether it is Onam, whether it is Deepavali, whether it is any other function, sports day, I won't think you can forget Takafar of Karavali College. Can you? Can you? It is not only Takafar, entire life is Takafar, friends. You are all working now, you are all in the industry. Most of all, already you are experiencing the heat. When you were students, when I was talking, you were not understanding. Most probably you may understand it better now <coughs> because you have already started your second innings. That is your career. It is sweet, equally tough, equally rough. And you know, it is not like a college where we will pamper you, where we will back you, where we will support you, where we will excuse you, where we will only threaten the punishment. But a company you are actually, you will be punished, you will be fired. So, the difference, now you are in the middle stage, you have to read the height by looking at the achievers in the society. Usually, those who are successful students, they, they are all successful in their career and personal life. Those who are dull and gloomy in the student life, in their life also they will be dull. Because a college is a platform where we don't not only teach academics, but we try to develop you in the overall areas, dynamism, activities, involvement, sacrifice, recognizing others. Wherever you go now, people talk about uh, Hindu, Muslim, Christians. India can really become a superpower. We can overtake America, Russia, any country. But the only disease, the only poison, what we have, including politicians, including religious leaders, they're trying to divide us. You are Hindu, you are Muslim, you are Christian, you should be like this, you should be like this. Nobody talks we are human beings. Nobody talks that we are all Indians. If we can really lead our life like true Indians, this country can really reach number one position in country or else when we see the present scenario, I get a little bit, little bit discouraged. Everywhere at the end of the day comes a religion. You are a Hindu, you are a Muslim, you are a Christian. In this college, never we discriminated nor entertained any such discriminations because it is meaningless. Relation between you and us, you are a students, we are managements. It is the father and children. Between father and children, there cannot be any discrimination. There cannot be any group. So my dear students, while appreciating your presence today, you all have taken one day leave, let me very clearly inform you, because you may not hear my speech here after us. You will be within your own walk of life unless you read this site and you will become the chief guest. I wish so. I wish so. Already we invited some ex-students also. <coughs> For us, the yardstick stick is the achievement. End result. Many times we talk. Oh, oh, kya hai, eh, kya hai. Are, kare yaar. Karo. Kuch karo. Try to reach, dream, excel, experiment. If required, change. End of the day, read the expected level. And you should also know, now you are all in uh, various companies, your style has changed, language has changed, mood has changed, appreciable. But remember, if you ask me, what is the goal of life? First, naturally career, position, money, money, but last, it's too early for you, don't worry about that. You will realize what I'm telling after five, ten years. What is important in life is self-satisfaction. Many people ask me, for all these years, 28 years, you have been talking to students, youngsters, and various social and religious activities in South Kendra and nearby districts. Are you not tired? I cannot get tired. Because, last point, I may not be as rich as other managements or politicians or gundas. I may not be, you know, have some other qualities which other people have. Money, fame. I may not be a minister. But if you ask me the satisfaction level, most probably only chairman in entire Karnataka or maybe India, where students come to me and talk to me even after completing their course. Yesterday also I was at Delhi. Minimum three, four students in the airport, hotels, restaurants, the style and, you know, manner in which how they come running. 
like a kid goes to meet its mother the sweetness so end of the day it is not the money we have developed we have developed campus we have various campuses we have reached uh, so many achievements but end of the day we need to have satisfaction my dear students we should be happy with ourselves you are ex you are a boy you are a girl you are ex you are rama krishna abdullah antony whatever it is you should lead your life in such a manner like how mr arwa has done it you should be proud of yourself when you will be proud of yourself when you have the control over your life if mobile is controlling you if money is controlling you if your wife and husband is controlling you then you may not get the total satisfaction you should be committed to the cause i am doing this job this is a right job this is a wrong job and second and most important set the dreams i told many times and with few of the youngsters i am not happy not because you have not excelled you have not achieved you are not dreaming you get panic one back pain oh i think somebody collapsed their dude in this thing their parents or somebody was shouting as if world is over face the life as it is enjoy the moment if it is negative also you go to star hotel you think food will be always nice you never talk because it is the status mr arwa knows doctor knows it we never speak in a star hotel five star hotel if the food is not good also you go to a small gudangadi now what is this food i am paying you 3 rupees 5 rupees we fight there this is wrong achievements will come when we are not only technically and when we have the knowledge when we maintain the ethical standards we have to support your auto driver we have to support a small hotelier we have to support the farmers as i rightly told you, you have to always support your parents then only will have that satisfaction so my dear friends i am once again extending my warm greetings so many students should get the certificates i know the lengthy speeches will not be there but one thing is very clear my dear friends you meet me after 10 year or 20 year you mark it you mark it unless you are happy with yourself you will not be successful what are the tools to make you happy yourself one you are already graduates engineering pharmacy nursing or whatever it is now you started practicing careers i started you will work hard you will get promotion you will get money today morning i spoke some three four students when i asked the salary i was really surprised it was much more than my expectation industries are ready to recruit people all over the world people are required actually we have manpower but we don't have qualified committed manpower with only graduation with only certificates you cannot excel you will get a job you will not get a satisfaction to reach the height you need to be committed and i am sure all the karavlians will be successful for the simple reason how you developed four years here how you spent four years here <coughs> that itself is a hard stick whether it is eating whether it is running whether it is a function whether it is a discipline whether it is making noise whether it is dancing whether it is singing whether it is a deepavali whether it is a sports day every inch inch of the life every minute of the life even my birthday mr arwa you may be knowing my celebrate my birthday with the students and staff every year even though i am a vegetarian that particular day both vegetarian non vegetarian food is served so as to ensure that nobody ask the party we should consider their age you know we will be successful when we understand the opponent all the youngsters are they can eat their age permits them to eat since more than 70% students are non vegetarians who am i to stop i can give only rasam and rice and curds i am not doing it why i am mentioning is not to appreciate myself friends when you deal with others your boss your colleagues your family your in laws try to understand the pulse of the people so that there you try to satisfy them and once they start liking you once they start loving you you will really reach the height with these few words especially this side 
if you are afraid of sunlight tomorrow you have to face so many hardship in life this body is manufactured your leg is very lengthy why you have to walk we don't walk we work from the home we don't walk we don't go for exercise then finally we spend lot of money on the hospitals friends be with the nature whether it is raining whether it is a hot sun whether it is a chill whether it is a cool because entire life is like that nothing is ready made you know it, there are waves in the life there are curves in the life so, uh, some boys are laughing it is not that curves it is the up and downs in the life no i intentionally use that word because <coughs> you are seriously sitting like a punishment i am happy to see your smile because your smile is reflected in my eyes and end of the day my health will improve what we do is with ego we don't smile we don't clap we don't respond who is he who is modi who is rahul gandhi who is tata who is birla who is ambani who is adani social media we challenge everyone end of the day we spoil our health friends try to recognize others respect others adore and appreciate others if possible try to inculcate 1% of the good quality what the people around have it is not the social media which should rule the world it is the morality and humanity should rule the world for this also you are not clapping <laughs> to clap also somebody should tell but there is a danger once they start clapping they will start little lord not in my college i not elevate in front of media also i control the students so my dear students the only one guru dakshina i want to ask today not money don't worry you have paid a small money i know comparatively less than other colleges i am happy with that small money with that savings every four years you visit there will be a new building the entire money is invested i have not ate one rupee people speak so many things there is a saying in kannada kere neeranu kere ge chilli jana maatartare parents idare adakke na kannada dalli maatartene jana maatartare social media dalli naan helidhe yarannu bidudilla modi yu sari illa rahul gandhi yu sari illa yaru sari idare film star yu sari illa sari naavu maatra yake naave sari illa namage tale haalada karana naavu baige bandanta yavaga naavu itarra bagge ketta shabdagalannu upayoga maadli kalithewa avatte we are the sick people the moment we start using abuse you and very bad words towards others it may be anyone politician industrial film star social worker activist you are so called hindu muslim christian i am very much upset with that so called hell with that you are a human being you are a student you are a youngster you have the right to live your life the manner which you are but within the framework there is a constitution there is a legal system who you are develop that guts develop that attitude we challenge a small poor man if auto driver commits a mistake kannu kannadil va when the politicians do the same the mistake when the divide and rulers whether you have the guts no that is the reason my dear students always try to understand what you are where you are what you are supposed to be where you are to supposed to reach with this few words my dear friends all the best happy time come out to the flying colors back side they have decided we are still students graduates agli yot ya chappal odi idu anta ee manasikate this attitude is a problem you are saving everything but you don't know you are losing your health by clapping it is a scientific doctor is in the stage your health will get enhanced and mugambe will kush ho jayega mugambe also will become not become gold so let me let me expect students clap idu ondu kade eliyuvaga ondu kade barodilla haasige eladage ella kade irbeku jeevana helidre paripurnavada samanantaravada belavadige if i have to explain it in english it is the overall development vertical and horizontal totally balanced development see one side if one leg is big and one leg is small 
what will happen? Are you one guy is, I is in Bangalore, other I is in Mangalore? People call something else. So I can't expect my students to be like that. Your eyes should be aligned, your legs should be aligned, your hands should be aligned, your face should be smiling, your eyes should sparkle, the color, the decorum. Papa, you can get a response to your response. Sir, Hindi na orige kelta ilwa nitte bartha onta functiona thola sweeti ga atwa dancei ga kai thai dere yaudik ke bekar kai re usually when you are hungry only food will be taste when you wait only so many of you are waiting for your so called marriage abha adraatri. So, what I mean to say, you should not get anything ready-made like pizza or ice cream. Wait for that. Pizza, if it comes 30 minutes late, it will be very tasty. So with ice cream. That is the reason. Wait for your chance. One thing is very clear, both the juniors and seniors. Bhagavan is And already God told me, already God told me, None of the Karavalians will be unsuccessful. All the Karavalians will be successful in their life. And many times I challenge, many times I challenge, today once again I am going to challenge you, you show me one failure in Karavali students. One failure, whether it's a nursing, whether it's a pharmacy, whether it's engineering. You show me one, one failure. Every college, they have, you know, big holdings. I am placed. This is a package. This many students ask that college, how many percentage of students are placed? It is a common sense. It is a step by step. It is ek se barkar ek hona chahiye. End of the day, you will have the satisfaction. And I am sure all of you will not be only successful in the professional life or employment or money generation. Our success cannot be, you know, measured in that. I am sure all the Karavalians, because of the background, because of the training, because of the attitude, and because of the support system, and because of the threat of punishment, all of you will be successful, not only in your professional life, I am sure all of you will be successful in your personal life and social life also. With this, once again I conclude, provided, Tandatai parents, Maklu, junior, senior, Yella, Hege Chapala, Hodibe Kedidra, he building na. Tala in the Acha Pasagi, Paragi Kilbe, Kariti. But anyway, I am happy with the graduates. I have not expected you will participate so much. Usually, graduation is a good one. I am happy with the graduates. Friends, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And simply, I love you. I love you, all of you. Simply. I realize they say this is not the talk, this is not the business. This is not the business, this is not the speech. Usually, you know, once you complete the course, our relation is out. We don't care. But my dear students, this is one reason I always say this is your college. After 20 years you come, I'll be barking like this. You come after 30 years with your kid, I'll be barking like this. Don't worry, I'll not get told. That is my decision. Of course, final decision will be taken by God. So, this attitude of oneness, happiness, and I would like to extend, request, this should be extended to entire India. India is my country. I love my India. I love my country. That attitude should come. And uh, I stopped in between. I wanted a Guru Dakshina from you. Can anyone of you imagine what is that? You stand up and tell the right answer. 50,000 cash award I will give. 50,000 cash award. I am expecting a Guru Dakshina. Even teachers. Teachers can participate. Today's my thinking. I don't want money. Don't say Karavali College chairman is great. You need not salute me. You need not, you can do whatever about me. But I expect a Guru Dakshina from you. Can anyone say 50,000 cash award? Fifty thousand lost, I'll tell. 
ప్లీజ్ రీడ్ లీడ్ ఏ హార్మోనియల్ లైఫ్ డోంట్ బి పార్టీ ఫర్ దిస్ హిందూ ముస్లిం క్రిస్టియన్ బీజేపీ జనతా కాంగ్రెస్ ప్లీజ్ బి ఇండియన్స్ ప్లీజ్ బి ఇండియన్స్ డోంట్ బి ఓన్లీ హిందూస్ బీ ప్రౌడ్ టు బి హిందూ బీ ప్రౌడ్ టు బి ముస్లిం బీ ప్రౌడ్ టు బి క్రిస్టియన్ బి ప్రౌడ్ టు బి బీజేపీ కాంగ్రెస్ జనతా కమ్యూనిస్ట్ ఎనీ పార్టీ బట్ బీ ఏ గుడ్ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ ఆల్వేస్ బీ విత్ ఇన్ ది ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఆల్వేస్ ఓబే ది లీగల్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ ఆల్వేస్ బీ కైండ్ ఫర్ అదర్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ మీన్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ స్టాపింగ్ ఆల్సో మెనీ టైమ్స్ ఐ టోల్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐ టెల్ ఏరు అను రవి ఏరు అను ఏరి దవను సన్నవ నాగలే బేకు ఎంబ మాతను సారు అను when you grow up now you are getting 50000 1 lakh 2 lakh i don't know what is income of the mr alwa he may be karorpati but how simple is he sees look at his style because he has reached the height he is much high much high we can't touch him but he is simple and very very cool this should be our life so that is a guru dakshina i expect i don't expect any individual support to my college or me i can lead my life nothing to worry you come any time you will see same chairman there not be any change but i expect you to contribute to this country please contribute to this country please lead this country in a dignified man manner it is getting divided everywhere this problem is there everywhere fighting in fight and you know poisoning the young minds that should be stopped with this few words this is the final stoppage once again a clap with little more sound <laughs> students thank you and i love you vapas illwa love you to elli ee hudugaru hudigeru love elidu bega love to heltare nammanta mudukru elida carry madudilla i love you guys and girls thank you The pledge is not an oath but is a solemn expression of each graduate's best intention to apply their learning and experience in the most positive manner for the widest benefit to recognize this affinity and these responsibilities each graduate at this graduation ceremony is invited to join along with the dignitaries on the dais in taking the graduate's pledge i kindly request all the graduates to rise and raise their right hand for the pledge Dr. Raghuchan sir to lead for graduation oath. Pleasant evening everyone. So let us commence with the graduation oath. Kindly stretch your right hand forward and repeat the oath after me. I the graduate of Karawali group of colleges. I will in thought word and deed and ever to be precisely honest and the discharge of my duties being professional in all circumstances i will uphold the dignity and integrity of my profession and the honor of my institute and the nation and that i will devote all my energy to promote the unity and secular ideal of my country and utilize my knowledge in the service of my motherland and the humanity ultimately thank you i request our chief guest shri kishor alwa sir and honorable chairman sir to kindly award the graduate deepthi patija anina navya nikita komari pratiksha shweta నాయక్ నిఖితాధవ శ్రీలత మారియమ్మ హబీ అభిషేక్ ఎస్ఎం నౌ లెట్స్ మూవ్ ఆన్ టు బ్యాచులర్స్ ఆఫ్ హోటల